Hi, welcome to Mr. Dyer's Musings. I'm Mr. Dyer. You know, a long time ago, a friend once told me that shovels are pretty useless in a camp setting. But uh, I kind of replied back to him that I thought they were pretty groundbreaking. As always, I like to thank my wife and family for the unconditional support. I like to thank my students and my scouts and those of you who've been with me this whole time for a year. We're up to 300 subscribers and I'm just so thankful. Like I sincerely appreciate those of you who shared my channel and and uh, supported me along this way. It's been an awesome year and I'm looking forward to a great summer of other content and uh, I appreciate you. I really, really do. And if you do me a favor, if you like the videos, and if you haven't done it yet, but if you like the videos, please share the videos with others. Ask them to join us on this educational journey. And if they have any ideas, if you have any ideas of things that you'd like me to talk about, please comment below. I love to hear you guys. I love interacting with you guys. And again, I appreciate it. And I'd also like to thank my patrons on Patreon because without them, the trips that we're going to do this summer, it's not going to happen. We're going to visit the Great Circle Mound here in Ohio and some forts, and I, I hope you're excited about it as I am. So let's talk about this thing that's in my hand. This is a Boy Scout utility tool, and it's made by a company called Vaughn. B-A-U-G-N. And Vaughn is an American company that's been around since 1869, and it's got a really special heritage that they've had for such a long period of time. The original guy who started the company, he started in the back of his shop as a blacksmith, and he made an auger bit. And this auger bit was so successful, like it was, uh, it did such a great job that people started asking him to make more custom tools. So he became a custom tool maker in the 1800s. And they're from Illinois, which isn't too far away from here in Ohio. And they're still around. They're still making tools. Now, by the time that this tool came out in 1937, uh, their company went through some changes. By 1940, the company moved to another part in Illinois, but it's still made in Illinois, still made in the same state. And they're still making fantastic tools. Now this here may look just like a plain shovel. And Vaughn didn't make many of these uh, for a long period of time. Uh, Boy Scouts of America contracted with Vaughn to make this tool in the 1930s, specifically in 1937. So it is kind of a rare tool. Uh, just about anything that the Vaughn made for the Boy Scouts is highly collectible. And, and this is no exception. And it's a fantastic, cool, little camp tool. So it looks like a shovel, as you can see, right? It has a little metal slide, it slides down there, pop that up, put the slide back in place, and now you have a pick and you have a spade. Now the pick is not very sharp, it has a blunted point and it's hollow, it's a hollow pointed, and the shovel itself, I mean, as you can see, this, uh, not even as long as my hand, so it's about uh, six inch, well, not even six inches, probably, about five inches, perhaps, and almost uh, basically five inches across as well. And as the length of it, it's only about two foot long, that's all. Now, why would the Boy Scouts need a collapsible shovel, okay? Now, in bushcrafting and camp craft, you know, shovels aren't really talked about a whole lot. You know, we talk about our hatchets, and we talk about our axes, and we talk about our knives. But the shovel has a lot of utility use, especially in the camp craft setting. Definitely in the bushcraft as well, but certainly in the camp craft setting. And the Boy Scouts was expected to pack everything in wherever they were going. And this is very light and very short. And if you're a 12 year old boy, I mean, it's still short, but it's still very usable. I'm six foot one. And if I bend over, you know, this I can still utilize this. It's kind of like a, a field shovel for the military. 
Okay, so it's still completely practical. But the Boy Scouts could use this for uh, digging latrine pits or cat holes. They could use this for pioneering. So pioneering in the mid-1900s and the late 1900s, even when I was a scout, pioneering was still a big thing. It was a huge tradition to build gateways and things like that. So you would need to, a shovel to dig your posts and your anchoring points. Okay, And you also used a shovel for putting out fires and stirring a fire to make sure that it was out. Um, this could also be used as a utility tool, you know, pounding in the stakes, uh, you know, things like that. And since it does have the pick function, in the areas that you have very rocky ground, then you can loosen it up by using the pick, tipping it over or turning it around and using the spade like that. So it's a great little shovel. Generally speaking, uh, there is a packing list in the early 1900s Boy Scout manuals where it broke down things that a troop should take with them on a weekend or a week-long camp out. And a shovel was one of them. In fact, I think uh, for a patrol of eight, you know, there was uh, two shovels per patrol. And if you have two, you know, more than one patrol, so that it can expand rather quickly. But it just kind of surprises me that Vaughn didn't make this very long. The Boy Scouts didn't contract for it very long. Um, but I guess in the 1930s, you know, you had the Great Depression that we were still coming out of. So that might have been a factor in it. Uh, the price point might have just not been right for the time. You also had military shovels, World War I surplus shovels. They were pretty much the exact same length. They were a little bit shorter, but uh, just as utilitarian. But I love this thing. Let's go take a look and uh, see how it can be used. Okay, so as you can see, the shovel is just a little bit past my knee. So how can we use this? Well, if we're down here, we can put our feet foot down like so, and we can dig it down. We can also stand, put our weight on that, that's no problem. We turn it into the pick section. You know, it gets down there really easy. It doesn't stop at all, like so. And the spade function works really well because you get that leverage. So if you're digging a fire pit or you're digging a latrine, you can go around and cut it. And you can even get a, uh, a shallower angle to just get that sod instead of going so much for the depth. Like so. So there you have it. I mean, there's not much more to it. Great American tool by a great American company, by a great organization. I hope you like that. If you have any questions, please leave them. Please click like. Please subscribe and please share this content. We have 300 subscribers. That's so awesome. My goal is to try to get uh, up to 1,000 by the end of the summer. And with you guys and your support, I think we can make that happen. So please go ahead and click that bell button, the notification, and share it with others. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Give a kiss and hug to your loved ones and take care.